Hi guys, I'm Nolan Omura. I'm 21 years old and I was born and raised on Oahu, Hawaii. To me, like photography was an escape from school. I would do it after school with my friends every day. Um, we would just go out, go wherever. We'd go to Waikiki, go to Sandy's, and it just all started as something fun, but it turned into a passion, and I met everybody and anybody through it, and it's just been, to me, like an escape from everything, from school, from stress, and I would just have so much fun doing it. Growing up on Oahu, I would go to the beach every day, pretty much. Every week, I would go fishing, I would hop in the waves at Sandy's, and I would just see how beautifully it would break. And I first bought an Intova, like a small old camera, and I just worked my way up and got a new camera, got a new setup, and the rest is history. For me, the first things that I kind of shot were, I would always go to Sandy's. If it was flat, I would swim out, I would go shell diving, I would see turtles, um, eagle rays, just schools of fish. And when there's waves, when it's big, I'll shoot the waves. So it's, it's kind of like a win-win. I can go when it's flat, I can go when it's pumping. And there's always something to shoot. I met Zach, Zach Noyle at Sandy's, and um, I had a GoPro at the time. And I always looked up to his work. I would always like wonder when I would meet him, I would see him around, but like never really met him. And we talked story a bit, and he actually helped me get my first camera and my first housing. And, and it was amazing just to learn from him. He has so much experience, so much knowledge, and it's crazy that it all started at our home break at Sandy's and it just evolved throughout. Like, just having an amazing friend and mentor helped me through all of it, it's, it's insane. It's really, not weird, but it's, it's different. Like, um, it's definitely, it takes me back years when I would go reach out to photographers and ask like, oh, how, how do I do this? Or um, just ask anything that'll basically help me. And it's, I'm in Zach's position where I would ask Zach and people would come to me and ask, oh, how do I shoot this type of thing? How do I shoot this type of video? It's just crazy to think a few years ago I would, it was completely swapped and it's, it's crazy. I think to me, Instagram, social media in general just helped me branch out so much. I've met so many people, not physically, but met them online and they share their knowledge with me, I share their knowledge, I ask how it is, where they come from, and I return it to them. And it's just crazy how, how connected photography brought us together, just, just bringing us and talking about our experiences. It's, you can learn so much and you can just thrive off of it. Even if you're not talking to them in person, it's, it's just social media gets you places nowadays that you physically wouldn't be able to visit, but you could see what it's actually like. I find inspiration pretty much wherever I go. I try to be different, I try to be unique. If I see someone's photo from somewhere, I won't, I'll be like, wow, that's really cool, but I won't try to go out and replicate that shot. I'll try to maybe twist it a little, try to get my own little unique twist on it because there's so many people that take photos. If you just copy what the first person is doing, it, people aren't gonna recognize your work as, like, as unique, as something different. You're gonna see it as, oh, that's cool, but this guy already did it and inspiration is all around. It could be as simple as just sitting there and you see someone pass by and they're doing something and you're just like, whoa, I should, I should really do that. But it's, it's something that you can't really force. It has to come to you naturally and it'll come to you when you least expect it. You can't try too hard, you can't not try at all. You just have to be open-minded to try new things. Honestly, I don't know where the road ends, but I'm fine with that because I, I go to college here, um, so throughout summer and winter I tend to travel the most. It's, it's cool because I, I love home, I love spending time with friends and family, exploring everywhere here, but it's good to get away, but after a while I do find myself coming back. Growing up here for the past 21 years, it's hard to go away for more than a month or like a few weeks at a time, but hopefully it just keeps going, I just experience new things, try new jobs. and study hard and just see where the road takes me. One day I'd really like to experience Tahiti in general, um, just the massive waves, the blue water, the cl crystal clear sea creatures, and just to see it, its beauty in both sides, because it's, it reminds me a lot of home. It's just a little different, um, but definitely Tahiti. Um, one thing is, one thing that I would have to tell people is work hard. 
Um, I know it's not going to be easy, it's always not going to be hard either. It's The amount of time you put in is the amount that you'll get back. It's, it's not easy, you'll hop into it and you might be discouraged at first, but just stick with it and it's, it's amazing because you can look back at the photos and see all the memories that you've taken. I look back at my photos five years ago and I'm like, wow, this is, it's insane to just to see the progress, the amount of progress, um, learning, but at the same time, it's special to me because I can remember exactly what happened on that day and be like, oh, I wish I did this differently. And you learn, work on it and you definitely get better. But just don't be discouraged, just work hard and you'll get it in return.